Welcome back to the Delaware Way, connecting Delaware farms with Delaware schools. That is the goal of our next guest. Dave Marvel is the founder of Farm to School. I think the exp explanation of what you do is in the title, but tell me more about your organization. Well, I'm a member of the Fruit and Vegetable Growers Association of Delaware and also the Farm Bureau, but uh, some of us ag folks a few years ago had an idea why the, why can't we get fresh fruit and vegetables into the schools? What's the holdup? So what is Farm to School exactly? It's just a program that's under another organization? Uh, correct. It's And it's it's nationwide. So it's just not here in Delaware. Uh, it just happens all at the same time. Back in 2007, I had an idea why kids couldn't get enough fruits and vegetables. Uh, listened to a presentation from the Moors about kids not eating their fruits and vegetables. And I'm like, in a state that has the abundance of fruits and vegetables that we do, why can't we just bypass some of the traditional uh, distribu distribution methods and get it right to the school? It's a great idea, and I don't think there's anybody in their right mind that would be against right. this. So let's go through the benefits of it, starting with what you already mentioned, and that is getting fresh fruit and vegetables in front of children. Right. Uh, basically, farm to school has got many facets. As Delaware is the diamond state, farm to school is a diamond, depending what facet you're looking at. So from the farm side, it's, it's an economic value. From the school side, they're able to get fresher product from local uh, farmers, and it can also educate kids about eating healthier. Well, let's stay with the economics of it for a okay. second, because I understand how it helps the farmers. I right. get that the farmers now have this whole market in front of them that they didn't have before. Is it also less expensive for the schools? And in some instances, yes, because of the, you're cutting out distribution. Uh, now, the thing with the schools is they have to balance their budget. They have so much cost per meal. So what they've, Delaware has been great, the school districts here have been great, uh, making sure that they can introduce Delaware products and balance their uh, what they call commodity money. Uh, it's it's kind of difficult to under, uh, comprehend. Uh, I have to be educated on it all the time. But basically, even if it's a product is maybe at equal cost to what they can get from a distributor, it, they can now get it uh, and balance their meal and uh, have the same cost per tray. So they have to balance the cost of the tray. And, but it's, but it that's, would seem like it was easy to do if, if you have a guy right down the road that's going to provide food for you. Yes. The, what the schools were used to that was having stuff already prepped. And sometimes on the farm side, we're not used to selling it you know, prepared or already sliced. So that's where the farms and schools came together and say, hey, this is worth it. Uh, and then we had to work, look out, work out the economics on beans. They have a little more into the prepping of a product because it's local versus getting it from a big food distributor already sliced. Okay, so, I, I got it. I got it. So it has to be prepared for the, for the tray. It Correct. has to be prepared for the people to eat easily. So I, so I understand that. So now we've, we've dealt with the students yes. and, and we've dealt with the farms, the benefits to the two of them. Yes. But to the schools, I would imagine this would be an immense benefit because of the educational value of it. That's correct because you know we're we're very big to nowadays one about local foods but also providing healthy foods for the children, and as you know, in some schools, especially around this area, the most healthy meals that these children get are at in, during their school day, so it it's a good it's win win because one the farms are actually providing healthier foods or fresher foods, and the schools are able to capture that and tell the kids that they are from local farms, and the kids are more apt than trying it and also with the schools that have the school gardens, they can see how food's grown, and then now they see, okay, I understand that not all food, food may come from the grocery store, but it's not grown in the grocery store. Yeah, but the, the ability to put food in front of a child and say, this was grown right down the street, then to take them there, let them see how the food is grown, but then from there, there's a growth process, not only because of the plants, but there's a growth process in education. We feed the world. This is how, why it's important to our economy. So, so many things are, are understood from just that food that's put in front of them in the lunch. That's absolutely cafeteria. correct. It's, it's not only the piece about agri the agriculture and the impacts that the agriculture has for the state, but also about the kids saying, hey, you know, these foods are healthier to eat than the traditional snacks. And within school, beans, we're helping teach them about nutrition now. And we're, you know, we're telling them that they should eat healthier so they have longer lives. This is an opportunity and to say, yes, 
the schools do care because a, a hungry kid can't learn. We all know that and it's proven. And they can't just eat on, live on snack foods. So the schools are able to provide a healthier, you know, alternative for some of the kids, from some of the students that they're not used to at home. So it helps educate them there and so that they take those better eating habits home with them. So this, across Delaware, is this, is this happening now? Yes. Uh, Delaware has done very well. Uh, the good thing is we have the Delaware way about us and the schools here have really taken it on. Uh, we are one of the few states that actually the school districts actually have their own kitchens, self-op kitchens. It's not just farmed out uh, to a you know, big distrib distribution company, that they actually had kitchens where they were able to cook. Now we did have some education uh, within ourselves to learn what to do with the product. Uh, once it came in fresh, you know, some of the schools never saw, like maybe a whole watermelon, it came in sliced for them before, but now they know how to deal with it. That's great. I, you know, I just thought of another benefit too to all of this. You're keeping the money in Delaware. That is correct. It's not going out of state. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Good luck with the program. It sounds like it's already going well. Dave Marvel, founder of Farm to School. The Delaware Way continues right after this.